Brian Little. <laughs> First full day of quarantine, but second day that I got here. Um, jet lag is kind of hitting, but I feel like I'm handling handling it better than I ever have before. So I'm gonna eat my freaking rice and I'm so happy it's not just soup. So talk to you guys later. And I'm so excited for this meal. Rice, fried egg, and then like some sort of like tofu, or I also like it with shrimp. It's so good. So I think this is probably gonna be the best the best breakfast I've had. tea and bread. I'm just here enjoying my dinner. It's like my fourth or fifth day here. Um, this is what I have. They're like glass noodles with a bunch of greens. And some meals are hits or misses. Lately, they've been a lot. There's been a lot of hits. Sorry, it's not focusing. There's been a lot of hits. Um, in the beginning, there was a lot of misses, a lot of soups, but I'm enjoying it now and I yeah, just want to give you an update on the food. My lovely view behind me. Look at this sun, that's so nice. Okay, bye. Hello, I just wanted to share that I just got my first COVID test done. Um, I didn't film the area because obviously their focus is on not getting infected. If I do have it, I don't want to make them uncomfortable. I don't think I do, um, but I'll find out tomorrow my results. And then if I'm negative, then I get one hour of free time in an approved area, which I'm so excited for. I need like fresh air. They use like this specific little like Q-tip, long Q-tip thing. They went very deep, like my nose, it's been five minutes and my nose is still tingling. And it was so funny because I was trying not to pull back and they were like laughing. Um, but they're super sweet, super kind, um, super prepared. So it's midweek, it's Wednesday, it's been a few days since I've been in Paris. Not a week yet, maybe like five days. It's raining outside, it's cold, it's chilly. I'm a little sweaty because I went to the store just to see what I missed last time I went. That's basically all I did today. I went earlier in the morning and just walked up seven flights of stairs, so I'm slightly out of breath and a little sweaty, between sweaty and wet because it's raining outside. Um, and yeah, so most of my days consist of basically waking up, um, breakfast, coffee, um, cooking, and watching TV shows, going maybe for a walk, depending on how it is outside, um, grocery shopping, and in the evenings, I always have um, like a virtual meeting for orientation for my master's program. It's just virtual meetings online with our student advisor, talking about different things, um, meeting our graduate program directors. And tomorrow I get to register for classes. So today I'm gonna be looking into that so that I'm prepared for tomorrow. Classes start on Monday. So I have a few days left and yeah. So I might exercise later, but for now I'm gonna put what I bought away into my kitchen and prepare for lunch. Is it lunch yet? Maybe not. I'm gonna wait a few more hours for lunch, but that's what I'm gonna do today. Pet Thai, finally! Look at Oh, can you see it? Yeah. I got Pad Thai. I was waiting for this moment. I love Pad Thai, yes. I'm that basic person who loves Pad Thai. Um, it's not the best that I've had. I would know because I've had plenty, but you know what? It's fine. Still grateful. And then they gave me a meal option sheet. So now I get to choose my meals for my last week. And it's just a good day. It's a good day. Dinner came early as well. 
nothing but good vibes here. So if you were wondering if Princeton Bangkok Hotel has a nice view, I can confirm. And I don't even have a view of the sun. I think the other side might. But man, this is beautiful. 10 out of 10 for views. It's crazy that it, this was like one of the cheapest options too. Hello everyone, it's Friday. Um, I've been here for a week now and today I'm going for a walk. That's why I'm all bundled up in this jacket, scarf, and everything. Um, it is finally sunny outside. Well, relatively, there's some clouds still, but yeah, no. The sun's out, um, so I'm gonna take this opportunity to go for a walk, and I'm gonna take you guys with me because these, this is, you know, this is part of my quarantine experience. This is my outfit. I mean, really simple, really basic. It's high socks, you know, boyfriend jeans, warm jacket, scarf, mask, bag. Hi. Right. Let's get going. Once again, sweaty because I came up, you know, seven flights of stairs. Um, but I walked a lot more than I thought I would walk. <sighs> um, my plan was about like a 30 minute walk to wherever I was going and then 30 minutes back, so like an hour. And then I think I ended up walking a little over two hours in total. I picked up three packages <sighs> right there. I'm going to disinfect them and then I'm going to open them and show you what it is that I got. One of the things I got was slippers because um, I do have a toilet here, but it's a very specific type of toilet. Um, so I mostly use, there's a toilet in the hall um, that's for anybody that lives up here. And there's only one person I believe besides myself to wait for the sirens. Is it done? Okay. So I got slippers because sometimes, a lot of the times I use I use the um, toilet that's outside of my room. It's just down the hall. Um, and I hate having to put on my shoes to go out there and just pee. So I got slippers. This. I mean, it's called a juicer, but it's a blender basically. It's a portable blender because I wanted it for smoothies as well as for soups. The last and final item, as you can see, it's what I mentioned earlier, a, an electric blender. This is what I'm most excited about. You know, I mean, it's just dust and it boils itself. Here's the menu. I don't know what changed to, for like me to have options now, but I'm so freaking excited. I'm not complaining. I've been having like Asian cuisine out of my decision, um, but I think I'm gonna ask for this. Just like no ham, no sausage. Oh, I'm not sure about the eggs either, but yeah. Things are looking bright, people. Well, okay, I'm a pescatarian, not a vegetarian, um, but I chose vegetarian because I felt like it was too difficult to explain. But I'm for sure gonna get the deep fried fish burger and french fries. Like, you have no idea. I'm so freaking happy. So when I filled out my menu sheet, I was finally able to explain to them that I can eat fish and shrimp. So now it's Sunday, the start of a new week, and I got a fish burger. Yay. It's a nice mix from um, Asian food. And here we have my first Western dinner. Mashed potatoes, fish, and gravy, which I never like gravy, so I'll see how I like that salad, fruit, and then I think those are just like regular buns. But yeah. I didn't like the food, it gave me pasta. I'm super hungry, so I opened one of the cans of tuna that I got. Not good, um, tastes like dog food. 
I would know. I was a curious child. So this is my attempt at not stinking up my like space nor the trash outside because you just set out your trash outside your door. Like I don't want to make the hallway stinky or something. But I'm putting it in this plastic container, trying to close it. Yes, they give you a lot of plastic here, obviously because of COVID, you just want to like throw everything away. Um, it's going in here. I reused all the plastic bags they gave me as trash bags. And this is really stinky trash, so I think it's fine. I'm putting it in double. Double, and that's how we're going to do it. That's how we're going to contain the, the, the scent. I guess I'm going to go brush my teeth. I still freaking taste that dog food in my mouth. Just quarantine things. Just quarantine things. Hello, it is 7 a.m. and I finally, um, because I tested negative, I get to have free time outside. I'm gonna see the sun for the first time in a week and two days. And I brought my headphones. I don't know what options I have really to do up there. And I brought a book to read and I'm so freaking excited. See you there. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. So beautiful. <laughs> the view the sun that i haven't seen this is where i could stay at wow i like can't even express how happy i am to be out here i chose 7 a.m because i'm a morning person and i love watching the skies i guess like light up um and now I get to experience it outside for once. So beautiful. So I want to enjoy, I want to enjoy the moment. So I'm going to put my camera down. Um, but basically I'm the only one out here, which is what I wanted. I figured if I chose an early time, which is 7 a.m. Um, that I'd be the only one out here and be able to enjoy it by myself. And that's what it looks like so far. So super pumped. I'm just going to watch people watch outside and probably see you back in the room. It's snowing. Can you see it? Before I head out, I'm gonna finish my coffee. It's still basically a full cup. I'm gonna um, continue to read. I start classes Monday. I think I've mentioned that before. So and today's Saturday and it's snowing and I have classes Monday and my first class on Monday, I've already have about like a thousand pages to read. <laughs> um, uh, not literally, but still like about, uh, might as well be. Um, so that's basically all I've done this morning. Um, I ate breakfast and can read for a few hours. Had lunch, I'm getting ready, and I'm gonna head out. As soon as I finish my coffee, I'll take you on a fun adventure. Christmas breakfast, a bunch of bread. And I also got a salad that's not shown because it will be eaten later. Just did my second COVID test on Christmas and they came like an hour earlier. So I barely finished eating. So I was like all full going. And again, they were very sweet, very nice. They check your blood pressure, your temperature and all that stuff. And it was just as uncomfortable. But we're done, hopefully it's negative and then I am free from quarantine. Hello, so I get to choose my meals again. It's my last two days and I get to choose. Bread, shrimp, and fries. So this is my last lunch because tomorrow I leave in the morning. I'll check out in the morning so um, I won't be here. But they went out with a bang. Look at this. I was so scared, I thought that was pork but um, I opened it and it was tofu and they gave me a boiled egg and a crepe like a few crepes and rice like, and this thing is giving me like pozole menudo vibes like if you know you know um but i'm so freaking excited to eat my last lunch so i'm all bundled up and ready to go into the snow um i'm really excited about this i'm a little nervous because i feel like it's getting on slightly stronger I started getting ready to go out when I saw that it was like 
diminishing and I was like, okay, perfect timing. And now that I'm ready, <laughs> it's picked up again, which is not bad, not a bad thing. Just don't have an umbrella. And I hope it's not too difficult to um, manage the whole situation. But this is my outfit. Again, you know, I'm wearing a thermal a sweater, the jacket, scarf, beanie, tights, under these, these pants, and booties. My booties aren't like snow booties, they're just like walking regular booties. I don't remember them being slippery. It's been a long time since I've worn them, but I don't think they're slippery. No, no, they should be fine. Um, and it's also like it's snow that's barely piling up, so it's more wet than it is frozen. Cause um, my clumsy self, you know, could fall. But okay, I think I'm gonna head out now. Every day, every night, and every night, every morning, and every evening, you have to take your temperature and send it to your nurse because you are um, given a 24 hour nurse in case you feel sick. Um, so I'm taking my temperature right now. I'm gonna do a quick room tour, and it has to be super quick because the luggage people are gonna come help me <laughs> get my luggage and um, check out. So let's just start at the door. This is the front door. This is the refrigerator. This is a bunch of condiments I didn't use. Um, and then I had like a little kitchen set up and that was to wash clothes and then detergent to do it. And I had my little table, trash can, and I had a little living room. Oh, and I'm wearing that right now. <laughs> and then here we have a bathroom, a nice bathroom, sink, and then just a toilet, but I don't really want to show that. And yes, now let's move on to the room. I have this big closet space. And then the TV that I never use. I never use any of the TVs. My luggage. This view, which I really got like super lucky with. I honestly wasn't expecting that. And a balcony that I couldn't go into because they locked the door. And um, I couldn't open the window all the way because they're scared people might hurt themselves in quarantine since it's a long time. And then my bed and my desk. And yep, that's everything. Checking out. Okay, yeah, I did not come through this way when I first got here. This is a nice hotel and I couldn't even see it. Hello, so this is present day me. I'm out of quarantine. I already did my time, did my two weeks and tested negative for COVID multiple times. Um, so now I'm, I'm in my new town where I'm going to be living in. If you are allowed to come in here once you finally get approved, if you do get approved um, to enter the country, you have to quarantine at a government approved hotel, AKA ASQ, AKA Alternative State Quarantine. At Princeton Bangkok Hotel, I got the deluxe room, which was the second cheapest option that they had available. That cost 33,000 baht, which is equal to around 1,000 USD. Now that Michelle and I are both on the quarantine, we hope to give you guys a lot of lifestyle content of Thailand versus France. Um, we hope to show you guys hot spots, vlogs about Michelle's life as a grad student in Paris, France, and my life as an English teacher in Thailand. Um, we're so freaking excited to finally get into that. And that's all I got. I hope you join us on this new chapter of our lives. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram. Um, and Michelle and I both have our personal accounts, but we also have a specific Miss Muses account uh, where we will do like takeovers a day in the lives of on our Instagram stories there. So be sure to follow us on there too. We are so excited. But yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.